Hello students, Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Imran Khatri, Associate Professor, Department of Entomology, Sindh Agriculture University, Tandojam. Today, uh, we're gonna cover part 8, Odoneta. It will cover dragonflies and damselflies. Dragonflies and damselflies are large, strong flying insects which have fascinated watchers throughout the time. They are among the best known insects and because of their large size, usually 30 to 90 mm, but some species are known up to 150 mm, captivating behavior and ease of identification by the known specialist, they have been referred to as bird watchers insects. Many species are territorial and they can display complex and intriguing behavior. Dragonflies and dentalflies are components of most riparian ecosystem. Both adult and larval stages are predaceous and most prey upon other invertebrate species. Fabricius coined the term odoneta from the ancient Greek odontos tooth. It means tooth apparently because they have teeth on their mandibles. Now distinctive features of these two Suborders Anisoptera, Dragonflies, and Zygoptera means damselflies. Here it is. Now eyes meet on top of the head. You see the eyes are mingled, and here eyes widely separated. They are separated from here you can see here now the second difference in dragonflies hind wings broader at the base you can see here broader at the base as compared to four wings and four wings and hind wings similar here in damselflies now the third difference at the rest, wings stretched out flat. Flat, you see, these are flat. Whereas at rest, the wings folded over abdomen. Here are these folded over abdomen. Now, the other difference these dental flies are smaller more fragile insects you see here as compared to dragonflies they are very small now this is the fossil record from museum of Toulouse. the giant upper carboniferous dragonfly ancestor meganeura monei it had a wingspan of about 680 millimeter, means 27 inches. Now, a species which needs of Odoneta is 5,899. Here it is. Now, young one of Odoneta are commonly called as nymph or nades. There is difference between the nades of dragonflies and damselflies. Dragonfly nade is broad, large eyes and no smaller fins at the end of abdomen. You can see here it has smaller. Whereas damselflies nade has slender body small eyes and three elongated fins you can see here three elongated fins now odonata feeding 
larvae vary in habit but all are aquatic they can molt up to 15 times before they reach the final instar and are ready to emerge all larvae are predaceous and they are generally ambush predators which remain concealed in slit you can see here or under rocks and plants waiting for slow moving prey odonata larvae are unusual in having hinged prehensile mouth parts with strong teeth which they can shoot out to capture their prey Odonates are generalists, that is, they eat whatever suitable prey is abundant. Oftentimes, they hunt in groups where a large number of termites or ants are flying or near swarms of mayflies, caddisflies, or gnats. According to most studies, the main diet of adult odonates consists of small insects, especially Dipteran flies, maturing dragonfly larvae feed very intensively, as do females when developing their eggs. Studies show that food shortage may limit reproductive behavior. Dragonflies do not hunt in cold weather. Most of the dragonfly's life is spent in the larval stage where it molts from 6 to 15 times, depending on altitude and latitude. Larval development varies from the common one or two years to as many as six years. At that time, the nymph crawls up out of the water and molds one last time, emerging from its old skin as an adult with functional wings. Unlike butterflies and beetles, dragonflies and damselflies do not have an intermediate pupil stage before becoming an adult. Because of this, Odonata or said to be hemimetabolous or undergo an incomplete or gradual metamorphosis. Now, Odonata is predated by several creatures of aquatic habitat. For example, this is Sparrow. feeding to chicks this is another bird aquatic bird yes he got that now this frog oh yes it got that Since odonata are uh, aquatic insects, odonates can act as bioindicators of water quality in rivers because they rely on high quality water for proper development in early life. As you can see these habitats captured by me, since their diet consists entirely of insects, odonate density is directly proportional to the population of prey, and their abundance indicates the abundance of prey in the examined ecosystem. If global climate change continues, many members of odonata will start to disappear because odonates are such an older order and have such a complete fossil record that they are an ideal species to study insect evolution and adaptation.
odonates flight for example they are one of the first insects to develop flight and it is likely that this trait only evolved once in insects looking at how flight works in odonates the rest of flight can be mapped out Now life cycles of odonates now first the damsel flies now here egg laying process the nest and then this one is the adult now the dragonfly the eggs larva or nest molting process now the adult here now again the egg laying so the cycle completes here now the odonates mating damsel flies and dragon flies though the procedure is similar there's not that much difference the odonates are unusual in that the male has secondary genitalia at the base of the abdomen to which he transfers sperm prior to mating this produces a very characteristic coupling pose where the male grasps the female behind the head with claspers at the end of his abdomen and the female places the tip of her abdomen up to the base of the male abdomen elaborate courtship rituals are often preceded mating now the egg laying procedure of the dragon flies and damsel flies you can see here both are trying to lay their eggs Thank you so much for watching this video.